Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy right here. This is the Feather Double Edge Razor. I'm sure there's another fancier name for it, but it is the Plastic Feather Double Edge Razor. Um, you can find it all kinds of places, Amazon and otherwise. Um, but it is a, uh, it's a very interesting little razor, and I'm going to talk to you today about it. Um, to start with, though, I want to thank my Patreon patrons. Not only do they make the channel in general possible, um, but they make it very easy for me to see something on Amazon and go like, yeah, I should review that, and, and to go ahead and do it. So uh, thank you very much for that. Next thing, let's do a size comparison here. Um, of course, by tradition, against the Spydeco Delica, which is much less effective for shaving your face. Uh, here it is against the Feather ASD2, which is these days my very favorite everyday care, uh, everyday carry razor. Wow, um, everyday shaving razor. I generally review everyday carry items like pocket knives and watches and things like that. Um, but nonetheless, um, here it is against the ASD2, and what we see here it is, is, is it actually is a little bit longer, a little bit bigger there. Um, and so there you go. Next thing, this is going to be a quick review because well, uh, double-edged razors are a little weird to review to start with, but um, there's that. And then finally, this is a double-edged safety razor. Um, although many of you have uh, already seen reviews of this and have watched my video about why double-edged shaving is simply better in every single way, or wet shaving is just better, um, but this is using a double-edged uh, razor blade. This is right here a feather blade. And feather, I believe, not only making good razors, makes the very, very best blades in the world for double-edged shaving. This is, of course, purely subjective, and there are a lot of people who disagree but for me, it's absolutely a win. But the joy about this is one of these blades costs like 25 cents if you buy them in bulk uh, and lasts you about two weeks. Compare that to your cartridges that have 15 little blades in them and last 20 minutes and uh, cost 18 bucks a piece or whatever it is up to these days. Double-edged shaving is simply better. Um, I have a whole video about why that is. You should watch it and then you should switch over because there is literally no reason not to. It is just better in every single way. So um, at least to me, uh, th 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 there's that. So so let's go ahead and talk about what I'm liking about this guy, what I'm not liking so much, and go into a final conclusion. So to start with, this guy is nice in that it has the butterfly approach. What I mean by that is what you just saw. If you want to get the, the uh, blade out of there, you just open it up like that and then lift it out and then drop a new one in, and that's great. That's very easy. And if we compare that to, for instance, the ASD2 here, which is same company but very different approach, um, in this case, you actually need to pop this guy open, drop the blade onto there, then put it in. It's a very different thing. So the butterfly approach can actually be quite nice. Um, and so that's good. Next thing, this guy comes with a pack of feather blades. Uh, at least when I bought it, it did. And that's actually great um, because not only then are you getting for the price of this uh, a great razor, but you're also getting the best blades ever. Um, I will say that feather blades are not forgiving. What I mean by that is as you're getting to started with wet shaving, feather blades will mess you up if your angles aren't right. They are very, very, very sharp. But for somebody with thicker hair like mine, um, they're, they're, they're perfect, but they definitely, they, they don't take any BS from you. So it's a tough way to learn. Um, they, they, they will be a stern master as you are getting started there, but they will work well, and it's good that you're getting good blades with them, uh, rather than just like a single blade from an eh, brand or something like that. So that's good. Next thing, the texturing on this guy is pretty good. Um, the, the handle on this guy has some actual good plasticking texturing to it, um, and it actually does give you enough gription here. This is not, you know, the razor to carry in the Vaseline factory. There is better knurling out there in the world, but you know what? It works out. Why would you be carrying a, a, a safety razor in a Vaseline. Look, we're not going there. So uh, just go ahead and accept that and we'll move on with our day. Um, but the texturing on this guy is absolutely good, as is the texturing around the collar here for opening and closing the butterfly. So that's good. Next thing, um, this is very, very lightweight. Um, with a blade in it, this guy comes in at... Oh, uh, let's see here. Can I do this on the scale? Yeah, 1.21 ounces as opposed to this guy coming in at 3.21. Now, actually, for many people, lightweight is not a good thing, and I would put myself in in that same group. And so this is going to be one of those things that shows up in both the good and the bad. It's great if you're doing something and you're specifically wanting lightweight. If you're packing for a long trip and trying to keep things light, this is an awesome choice. Uh, but if you're just looking for something that is going to be, you know, for daily shaving, then actually that weight can help a little bit, but it is lightweight. Um, and so combined with the, you know, throw a pack of blades and this guy in, you have a very, very good shaving solution for backpacking or something like that, um, th th that I think will be excellent. So that's good. Then finally, on the good side, um, the price of this guy is great. Um, I'm seeing these guys less than 20 bucks. Now, I, what I mean by that is I bought this for 13 bucks in December of 2019. Um, since then, I've seen them on Amazon jumping up and down and up and down and up and down. I think the highest price is about 20 bucks. 
Uh, but I saw him drop down to 12. Uh, look, you can find them in that $20, less than $20 range. Uh, try and aim lower than that, but still, anywhere in that range, it's still probably a pretty good deal. And uh, so, yeah, they, they, there is the price on these guys. Less than 20 bucks. that's absolutely good to go, including the blades themselves. So, um, to me, that's what's good is the price is right. Um, it is lightweight. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the last part of the good, which is that it shaves well. Um, that's the important thing here, right? If, it sha if it's a, a razor that is terrible for shaving, then screw that. Who needs it? Um, but no, this is a, a razor that shaves pretty well. Um, it, it works well. It, it gets you a nice close shave. Um, it's frankly indistinguishable from a lot of your other shave approaches, except in weight, except in like quality of manufacturer stuff, but it's good. It works. I shaved with this for a month and you know what? It was fine. I definitely missed a little bit of the weight to it, but it worked. And so to me, at least, that's what's good, is that it, it works well. It's a good shave. Um, price is right. It's super lightweight. Um, it's got good texturing, comes with feather blades, and has the butterfly opening. Um, on the bad side, one thing that is a little bit of a downside is that you can't flip the top for travel. What I mean by that is on a conventional razor blade, um, very often what you can do is actually keep the blade in there and then just flip the guard over here. And then that way, the edges of the razor are protected by the sides of the guard here. And then you just screw this back on there. That way, you can travel with an exposed blade. Um, this doesn't have that option. Anytime the, the blades are going to be exposed and ready to cut into things, so you'll probably want to carry with your blade wrapped, uh, travel with your blade wrapped up there. But there's that. Um, next thing, one downside of the uh, double-edged blades in general, speaking of travel, is that the TSA has decided that these are, oh my god, weapon! And so you cannot carry on any double-edged safety razor. Um, this is... I'm not going to say the dumbest thing involved in modern air travel because, oh my God. Um, but nonetheless, uh, it's certainly up there. And that means that this is going, that's the one disadvantage of a double edge relative to your Mach 18 sort of approach. Uh, the TSA seems to think you can't get the blades out of that. Again, I'm trying to up logic the TSA and that ain't a thing. It's security theater. Different fundamental issues. So there you go. Next thing, um, the feather blades. Like I said, these are great, but they are unforgiving to learn on. If you are looking at this as your very first razor, you are stepping up. I mean, you're shaving with a lightsaber to start with. You will learn to shave well, but you will nick yourself a little bit more often. They're going to be very sharp, so the nicks are going to heal very quickly, but still. Um, fe feather blades are not necessarily where I send people to learn, but that's okay. Next thing, this is a very plasticky piece. There are parts that are metal. But by and large, it doesn't feel like an amazing metal. It's just, it's sort of like pot metal and plastic. And you know what? That's fine. It works. And it's 12 bucks, right? If you're getting this for you know, 12, 13, 14 bucks, I don't care. Um, because it, it feels better than a lot of your, you know, regular razor handles you pay 18 bucks for with, you know, two cartridges. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty okay with that still. But nonetheless, it does feel very plastic. And as a result, the long-term durability isn't going to be amazing. I imagine if you drop this guy in the bath, you probably bath in the shower, you're probably going to end up destroying it or something like that. I mean, I tried to beat on it a little bit, and it's fine. But at the same time, um, it, it, again, it's. 15 bucks, so okay, you drop it, you break it, whatever, not the biggest deal. Then finally, the weight thing on this guy was the thing that annoyed me most. I like a heavier razor because just as you're shaving with it, it guides, and I should swap this back to the proper orientation, um, it guides then, put in a blade later too, um, but it guides this guy along your face a little bit better. You have that weight, and that weight helps just kind of reduce the, the fiddliness of it a little bit. That weight can be a beautiful thing, um, whereas with this guy, it's kind of just kind of running around everywhere, and that's that's part of the reason this is longer, because that way the balance isn't terrible. The balance point on this guy is about where you would want it to be, but still, um, I do like a heavier razor, and so this feels a little unsatisfying for somebody who's used to a big old chunk of steel like this. Um, so they, there you go. To me, all that's the bad is that the weight isn't great. The long-term durability is, well, it's a chunk of plastic. It's plasticky. Feather blades are a little tricky to learn on, and you can't flip the top for travel. Look, final conclusions, this is a good razor for the price, right? Fifteen bucks? For a razor you could use for the rest of your, well, maybe not for the rest of your days if you drop it. I don't know. But it's still good. Um, it wasn't my favorite shaving experience. There are definitely razors I like more. But from the standpoint of getting the hair off my face, you know, it worked. Absolutely. And like any double-edged razor, it was strictly better than using cartridges. Mind you, it's plasticky. The durability ain't great. It feels like a $15 razor. But that's okay because it's a $15 razor. And it's pretty damn good for that cost. And I see two big potential uses here. The first is as a gateway razor, so to speak. You buy this because you want to try wet shaving. And look, this would work fine for that. My only reluctance here is that this probably isn't something that you would want to do forever. 
right? This isn't a, a forever razor. Um, and so I don't think, you know, although it's a great place to start, I don't think it's where you're going to want to stop. And the thing is, for in the U.S. right here in, in uh, August of 2020, um, for like 10 or 15 bucks more, you can get a long-handled Mercur 23C, which is a really great razor and uh, is like, 10 bucks more. That is a forever razor. That could be the last razor you ever own, whereas this guy probably won't be. So this is kind of one of those cases of buy once, cry once, right? And so I think the probability, and the other thing is, if you look at this like, well, I want to try it, but I don't know, that's pricey. The probability that you're going to start wet shaving and then decide, you don't know what, I, I'm going to go back to paying 350 a cartridge for the Mach Fusion Speed Power 18 bladed. No, you're not going to go back. Let's be real here. So you might as well just go a little bit bigger. So if you're just getting, if you're just getting started, I don't know that this is where I would send you. Um, assuming that the difference between the two options, between like the Merkur long handle and this guy, is as small as it as it currently is, I would probably go up there. It's not a bad choice, but the difference is small enough that you might as well get something a little bit more permanent. Where this is really stronger, I think, is as a travel razor. Like I said, you can't carry these blades on in a uh, carry-on, but you can't absolutely check it in a bag. And if you throw this in a check bag with a thing of five blades, this is a $15 solution for like months of use. Because um, I can very easily get, you know, two or three weeks out of a blade of the, for one of these guys, um, especially with the feathers. And especially, uh, you know, it's... Some people will swap more often, but still. Um, you can get a whole bunch of lifetime out of one of these guys and five blades. And if it gets lifted out of your hotel room, if it gets lost, if you can't check a bag home, whatever, that's life. You just toss the damn thing because you're out 15 bucks. That's not the end of the world. But regardless of particular need, this is a way better razor than I expected. I figured this was going to be kind of trash, but it, it, instead, although it's not the perfect razor, it's pretty damn good. It's not your last razor, but for many, it's going to be a really good one. And the quality is strong enough that if you've got a good use for something really lightweight or something really inexpensive, I can very easily recommend this little guy. So there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.